Hey everyone, I've got Elaine here, better known as Travel Grandma. Hi. And she's going to show us her wonderful minivan. Um, uh -huh. She's invited us into her life. Thank you, Elaine, for Hi, doing you're that. you're welcome. Thank yes. you for coming. How long have you been using your minivan? I've been in this, I bought this in April. Okay. And I threw an ottoman in here and a dresser and I hit the road in June. Took wow. a five month cross country trip. Went home, knew exactly how I wanted to build it, and built it out. Very nice, and it's gorgeous. You're gonna oh, love this. Thank you. You're gonna love it. And wait till the end. Go all the way to the end so we can see everything, and then at that point, we're gonna find out how you can um, subscribe to Elaine on her YouTube channel and get a hold of her and watch her travels just the same as you watch mine. That's right. So, okay, well, let's go. Okay, Elaine, where would you like to start showing everybody this gorgeous van? Well, this is my entryway here, and this is my living room. Wow, okay. I love having this seat up because my plans are to get like an iPad or something and put it over here. I have some um, holders here on the back of both of my seats. So I figured that would be really good to have some, watch some videos along the way. And it just gives me an extra place to seat, to sit. Also, both of these seats come up. I have grandchildren at home and they're still in car seats and I when I'm home because I'm just part-time when I'm home I like to be able to have these seats available for them take them out for an ice cream cone which is my favorite thing to do so that's why I designed this to where when I'm home this is a car this seat comes up this is just all my camping stuff back here and this is my my passenger car so you home. still live in a house? I do. Yeah, in Sticks and Bricks. Sticks and Bricks. And do you live alone? No, I'm married. I've been married. Uh, we're in our 50th year. We'll have our 50th anniversary this coming July. All right. We have four children, 10 grandchildren, and my first great-grandchild will be born in June. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, family is really important to me. In fact, I have pictures of them all along over well, here. We'll see those. Yeah, yeah. Some of them I've taken camping before. Some of them are too small and they just have to wait. How often do you go camping? Um, that's an interesting question because I basically just started this kind of nomad journey. Um, my husband and I have traveled in RVs all across the country a couple of times. We've also been to Europe together before. This was my first solo trip. He's kind of settled in. He likes to play golf and that's fine. You know, um, we're together when we're together and I do my thing and he does his thing as well. And it just makes for a happy marriage. Very it's nice. Satisfying all our needs. And uh, tell us about the minivan, make and model and year. Okay. This is a 2018 Dodge Grand Caravan and it's an SE model. And I specifically purchased this one and I did buy it used because it doesn't have the console in the middle. So I can just go from the front seat right into the back. And how many miles on this? I bought it at 44,000. I think it's probably right around 60 ish right now. Okay. Well, it sounds After like you've got a long way to six, go. Seven months, yeah. Yes. I think so. And I didn't build it out right away. I started with just um, an ottoman that I threw in here. I found a desk, uh, a dresser with a desk, and that's it. And I went, I took off and I went to see my daughter in Maine. By the time I got to Maine, I decided I needed a bed. So my son in law built me a bed. And after that, I decided to make a couple of other changes. I visited another friend and her son and I sat down and I had, I knew what I wanted. I knew I wanted a, a vehicle that both my husband and I can travel in if he chooses to come with me. So this is actually seats four, but it sleeps two. And that, that was my goal. I needed to have that available to him because if I don't make it available, he's never going to come. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So by me providing that, at least I'll, you know, it'll be fun for us, I think, to travel together sometimes. Okay. I love going off of myself, but it's fun to have a partner with you too. It is. And then you can share and talk about and have the memories. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Okay. That's right. So 
let's go ahead and look at your living okay. room here. All right. So let me let me just set this down because I'm going to show you a couple of features here. This does stow all the way down. Okay, I'm not going to stow it all the way down now. But I have my jackery. I designed this so I could have my jackery here. And this jackery is hooked up to 175 watt solar panel, flexible solar panel on my roof, which Paul just helped me with. He helped <laughs> me with the magnets and we put this strap across to do it really secure. If you want to show it on the roof. Okay. Do you want a step stool? Or you, yeah, you're good. That Hold on to that bar. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. I think it's going to be secure for in-town driving, not freeway, just in-town driving. So I have to take it on and off and on and off. If I just want to run to the store, I'm camping somewhere, I want to run to the market. I don't want to take it on and off and on and off. And then when I when I travel long distances, I'll just take it down and it stows right in back of this wall. Okay. A special, there's a special place for everything. I'm very much a minimalist. And if I can't fit it in my van, I don't want it. If I'm not going to use it almost on a daily basis, why have it? All right. So, so this is your living room. Any other aspects about your living room? Um, just the fact that I have some. Let's see what this here. is. What is this? It looks very. Does this stay on all the time, well, or this is, is this my jacket? <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> More storage, you know, jackets and things. And I have just this. things that I, you know, I might use this. Yeah. I have some spray. This is my um tripod when I do some filming just things that I need so this is just a it's hooked on to yeah it's just a seat okay back seat uh, organizer okay it's an organizer very yeah. nice yeah okay yeah. what is this that will white, white. Oh, what that's is a this? mirror oh okay oh that's <laughs> interesting yeah and then I would like to put it like I said an iPad or something in here right and this now do you sit here and use that mirror is that yeah okay yeah very nice yeah all right, so that's pretty nice. And then nice. we've got some decorations up here, too. Yeah. Very nice. Well, we'll get another angle of this. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So we'll just set this down for now. Okay. Now, one thing that was really important to me, Lee, yeah. was my five-gallon water container. Okay. And if you want to just go around to the other okay. side. Let me show this. Okay. This was the most important thing was to have a place for water because when you're carrying a five gallon water container, it's large. And I started out with one of those barrel ones. Uh-huh. Well, that's gonna take up too much room. So I did find this and the specific reason I bought this one is instead of a jerry can that are also thin was because this had the flat spout. Okay. So Here. there's a specific reason why I had to put these wall panels up. It's because of my mainly because of my water container. This is a five gallon water container, and this is a special one in that this is straight across because I wanted to have this um, electric. Um, what do you call this? <laughs> a full of faucet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That and my I just push this button and the water comes out. Here, I'll just show you. How about that? There we go. Yeah. So the Jerry, all the Jerry cans. All of the, what, this opening here, they're all crooked. Yes. This is the only one that I could find. Plus, it has an extra large one on the end over there to where that's where I fill it. Now, where did you get this? That's, I Elaine? bought it on Amazon, and I'd be happy to share the link oh, with you. Oh, please do, because this is awesome. Thank you. Then, I have my stove fits here i have a gas one dual stove yes. like you have and i got that idea from your channel okay so this is just the case but i usually keep it out when i'm camping now it looks like is that your cutting board that green yes your cutting yes. board yeah so just set it right down on here when i'm doing like heavy things if i'm just using on my on counter cutting yes. bread or something i'll just use that i like okay. to keep that on here now what else do you keep back there okay I'm, like i said i'm a very minimalist i have one pot i have one skillet now i also have one of those um tea tea kettles that open okay. It up okay let me show you that okay 
<laughs> we're, we're in a minivan, so it's a little tight quarters. But so bear with us. But I yeah. want to show everybody what she carries because this is an awesome setup. Thank you. All right, so I have a, just a small pot and I have a, a pan. Now, this used to be my go to all the time because I would just hook it up to my jacket right down there. Okay. Um, and I'd heat up the water for coffee in the morning and stuff. So okay. this is USB, is it, or, or electric? No, this is electric. Oh, okay. It's, it takes a bit. It takes about three, 400 watts. But here's the thing. I just discovered this. This is so convenient for me to use all the time. I am not going to have this anymore, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a pot. The reason that I need this is for the spout. It's easy pour. I'm going to get a pot a little bit bigger because it's a little bit small. I want to get a, one that has a spout and then I don't need this. Minimalizing again. Yes. Yeah. Now, the, one of the reasons that I need this spout on one of my pots is because right down in here, I use a hot water bottle. And this I use at night inside my sleeping bag. It's I heat the water up. It stays warm all night. It's amazing. If you haven't discovered hot water bottles on a cold winter night, this is amazing. You know, I have one and I don't use it. Oh, okay. I may have to get it out and try yeah, to give it a try again. You may have to because there's some chilly, yes. chilly nights. Yes. All right. So then. Um, well, what do we got with this little thing? Yeah. Oh, and I can, I can store some food okay. here too. Okay. But this is basically my kitchen. All my food is down under here. Okay. Now, I, let me just ask you, <laughs> you designed this yourself, didn't I you? I designed it myself. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And so everybody, she is a very creative lady oh, here. You. This is actually, this whole build is one piece of plywood. Okay. Except for the sides. This is an additional because it's a different kind. Okay. But this took up one whole sheet of plywood. And actually, I have a sheet of paper that I can share with you with all the dimensions of how I took it to Home Depot. And I told the, the guy that cut it, I said, okay, and I just designed it right on that plywood. This goes 27 inches. This goes this way. And I, but the way that I did it was because they're not going to, you know, they're not going to waste a lot of time with you. You have to cut one this way. And then I said, then cut it this way. I just had it like so scientifically thought out most of the design is on paper putting this together putting the all the hinges and everything easy it's the brain power that was so hard to figure out because many band floors are they're not level so and i'd be happy to share that with you fantastic and i did this because i wanted it to be duplicatable i know how how women especially are looking for easy answers to get started and yeah and this is a lagoon table lagoon style table it's one of the fake ones <laughs> and it works the same it's all different angles now where did you get this what just i bought everything on amazon wow yeah. okay now this additionally comes apart see these boards right here yes this goes down here and that's why i put in an additional mattress here for my husband it's like this you are amazing yeah so that's how he and then this flips up please Let's see. oh then, look at that yeah. then when this seat is up as well i can use this as a little coffee table but I put a blanket on the top and that's for my feet. Now for his feet, he's a little taller. When the, the cushion is down here, he will use this for his feet. Very, so extends, very, very wise. That. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Okay. So that's my kitchen. Okay. Anything else back there? I see that you have another... Oh, USB fans. Okay, you have USB fans. USB fans on both sides. Okay. Now, this window does open open up. I usually keep the Reflectix on that one. Okay. Because I don't need it for seeing out the back window when I'm driving. Okay. I don't keep them on here because... Is that what that extra Reflectix yes, is? Yes, this is okay. for the other side. Can, I, can you pull it out? Can you show everybody this? Sure. Um, did you make this? This I did buy. 
Okay. But they're not hard to make. Just black on one side. They're from Weather Tech, and you, I got it on Amazon as well. Here's the now, did you get it specifically for you? Just punched in your make and model. Yeah. And so I so could punch in my side. make and model too. Yes. Okay. And then, yeah, and it's all you cannot do it all on Amazon. Okay. Yeah. Black on one side, silver on the other side. Wow. Yeah, and they fit very, very nicely. Let's see. Okay. Um, Goes like this, goes in, and it's on. Does it that stay? Simple. Yes. For the long haul, because a lot of times Stays they just the fall. <laughs> they it just fall. Has these fall. little tabs. You just. <gasps> okay, and so we need a link for this. Yep. Weather yes. Tech. You can go directly Weather, to the company as well. WeatherTech. Yeah. Okay. And they make them for all, all different kinds of. Okay. Vehicles. Fabulous. I know wow. everybody's gonna. That's gonna be something that everybody's gonna really want. Wow. Okay. Okay. Then th these are all my okay. toiletries. So we got the here. other side. Yeah. These are all my toiletries. I have a little hat here. If it gets chilly at night, I can just pull this out. Uh -huh. I have my wipes here. You know everything that you know you would use in your bathroom is right back in here. An extra mirror. Yeah. And you know for showering, I like using these small towels. And I'll tell you why, because you know, I can just hang them up on a bungee cord across my minivan and just let them dry. And they dry quick and I don't need any more than this. Okay. I even take this when I go into like a shower at um, one of the um, the gyms or right. truck stops or whatever. But I, these are my go-to towels. Yeah. And I just have everything very conveniently put in here. And then I have another fan here, so I have one on each side. And if it gets too hot, I can open the window and let the air out, hot air out. Let's just get a look at some of these decorations. Oh, yeah. That she has. Yes. Well, this is my happy place. <laughs> and this is your happy place. It's it gorgeous. Is. Life is a journey. Enjoy every moment. Run, forest, run. Yeah, we got this in Alabama. My husband and I took a trip there. And then up here, you're... Oh, these are emergency devices to where if you pull on this, the pin will come out and it just makes a really loud sound. Okay. So you can take these with you or you know what? If I'm scared, I'll just pop okay. from my bed. Very good. All right. So. Yes. Okay. Got that. Now, how about okay. we show my bed and my bathroom? Let's do that because okay. it is amazing. Okay. You pop out, pop out here? Yes. We'll let you go around to the other side. Okay. And in the meantime, this is a really nice rug here. I oh, love the color. You. And love I the... took one of your tricks and I put some extra blankets yes. in here. I love that. And then let me just show you right. this. Hold on, we're just going to show this while we're here. Oh, okay. And this is this is the same it's holder the same. as the other there side. There's actually two in the pack. Oh, okay. And where did you get this Amazon also? Amazon, yeah. Okay, well, we'll... You know, for both of them, it was so cheap. I think it was about $10 or $15 for both. Oh, wow. That was really She's cheap. utilizing everything very well. Okay, let's... Right. She is ready to show this amazing uh, design. Okay, so I already told you how the bed converts in for two or one. Okay. I usually sleep on this one side. Sometimes I just curl all around this way. And what I found was that now this is only 24 inches and that may seem short to some people. But where I need it is right in here. I don't necessarily need the room for my feet. I need it right in here where my well, full half of my body is. I already showed you how the bed converts for two people by putting an extra uh, mattress. And these are just foam mattresses. Now this side here is 24 inches and it's a six inch uh, thickness. Okay, that may seem a little short to some people. 24 inches, and I'm used to sleeping on 36. But I, if you'll notice, that's only for my legs. Where I really need the bed is up in here for stretching out my arms, and this just fits perfectly for me. Maybe not for you, but for me, it works. And that's the key, you have to do what works for you. All right, so this flips up. And the way that I designed this, Lee, is do you see how this fits on the white part of the wood mm -hmm. down below? 
when I flip, because when I flip this up, it stays up because I have hinges here or struts, I guess they are. So that holds it up and the board is far enough away from the mattress to where I allow that for that. So underneath here, oh, it's hard to lift from this. I usually lift it from that side. Thank you very much. I have all my clothes and I have my potty seat. And I use the um, bedding pellets. And it, there's nothing in there, so you can feel free to open that up so we can show it if you'd like, Lee. Yeah. Okay, yes. Yeah, and I have pellets all around as a storage as well. So there is a, a trash can in the middle. And you can lift that up. She's gonna come around and I'm show come us. Around and actually show because this is very interesting. Yes, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm amazed. I did not see that. Oh, I see what's okay, going so on. Okay, so this is the lid. Okay. So this is the lid that we just took off. Then it has another lid right here. Now underneath here, I have pellets all around, and they're just pellets that you buy like at. Um, wherever they service like farm equipment, they deal with horses a lot. Then inside here, now then I put another trash can right inside here with some extra pellets because I don't need that whole space. This is really big. Mm -hmm. So then what I do is I put pellets in that. And the reason for the pellets, you know what, let me just open this up. I just usually twist it around. The reason for the pellets is when these get wet, they absorb your liquid. And then you can just toss it. I just, you know, fold this up, toss it. Uh, but and then I just put this on. But the reason that I like this here and it's stationary is because I can just sit on the side of my bed and go. I don't have to take anything in and out or anything. It just fits right there. So when you go to the bathroom, you just sit, sit right here. You just sit right there. Exactly. You don't you don't have to keep taking this up. You yep. only pick up that bag. I only take the bag out when I'm ready to empty it. And this lasts all day. Right. One thing of like three scoops of pellets lasts okay. the whole entire day. Now is this for number one and number two? Yep. Oh my gosh. Look at this everybody. I could just sit right here because yes. it's level. Okay. And I specifically designed the height this wow everything was specifically that's specifically designed for the jackery specifically designed for okay. this okay the refrigerator is raised I have a platform in the back we'll get there later yeah specifically designed for the refrigerator and the way that those are going to open up this is so you well thought out you have to know what you need if you don't know what you need you can't accomplish what you right. set out to and these are just all my clothes here now under here, I'll show you this. There's so many little things here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to go too long on your video, but if it's interesting. Well, no, let's know. no. We want to see. We want to okay. see what's going on. So under here, okay. I need a place for my shoes. Now I only discovered this when I was out on the road. Yeah. I had no clue before. You know, I knew what I had in my RV and how convenient it was. You can't totally duplicate what you have at home or what you have in an RV in a little minivan, but you do the best you can. So I needed a place for my shoes so they won't be everywhere. So I okay. here, here we I go. a cubby to where I can put my shoes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> now I I'm didn't want to have any wasted space. So right here is where this this um, cubby thing here goes like to right there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And so I I just nailed it to the back of the board so I could raise it up a little bit. So I don't have any wasted space because I'm not gonna put my shoes all the way to the top. I don't have that. I'm not a shoe person. I carry like three pairs of shoes with me all the time and boots. Right. That's it. Yeah. So. Somebody that's a shoe person is going to need a little bit more space. <laughs> now, I remember you explained yesterday about this. It's very ingenious that somebody had put this all the way back so here. Back. Somebody, yeah, my so when she opened this, I you had to move it. this every time. Exactly. So she said no. And so she designed it so it all oh, goes here so that she can flip it up and still open her, her right. uh, doors. 
I yes. don't like moving things. I oh, don't. You right. Know, I want things to fit where they're supposed to fit. Yes. And that's so I can get on with my day. Right on. Oh, I'm fun. Right on. Now I'm going to look, I'm right here, so I'm going to peek in here. I'm going to open this up for uh, This you, is Lee. for your, um, right here, is this for your plants? Oh, planting? No, you know what that is? What? Okay, this is a candle. Oh, candle. okay. It's supposed to be a oh heated my gosh. candle. Yeah? Oh, Does okay. it work? Do they work? I okay. rented that, but. Yeah, you light this, and then you're supposed to put this here. Now, I did it wrong. I mean, oh. it, I didn't do it wrong, but and there has to be another piece because airflow needs to get under here, okay. and then it'll work. But mine fits too snug against the glass, okay. so I need to either change the glass or change the size of the pot. So that will be a change. Yes, yes. I'll probably get in a, just something that's not so snug right here. Okay. So I, air needs to get through. Now, yeah. is this where you keep your clothes? I keep all my clothes there. Yeah. Okay. Very nice. See my clothes there. I have some jackets that are hanging on the back. Okay. I have some, you know, you put things where you can. Right. So I'm going to. So and, and you have to be willing to change. And that I is, can sit right on here. That is so nice. Yeah. As well. I usually do because it gives me a little bit more headroom. I, I gained six inches by being able to sit right here. Very nice. And I can open my refrigerator from and here's, the side or the back. Wow. And, and this is an L. Well, this is an Albacore 38 okay. quart. Okay. And I, Amazon. <laughs> okay. Use Amazon. This is just my outside. Um, okay. You know, Matt. Okay. All right. And then I have now some. I have to be able to take that solar panel off, and I can't reach. So okay. I have a step stool. All my camping things are here, and some extra storage. I have extra storage for some water some extra food things like that I've got cans of soup back in here <laughs> you can see yes everywhere that I could put something I put something I have a foldable table I have my camp chair I bring a tent with me that's down in here too because a lot of times if I want to go to a regular campground and I want to be able to use their shower I'm gonna buy a tent site to use their facilities and a lot of them don't allow just a car so I put my tent up as a decoy. <laughs> yeah. So like I, I learned all of this on the road. I knew none of this stuff because it's so different living in an RV than it is living in a car. Yeah, and I have all my butane back here. I have a shower tent back here. Everything fits. I bought this one because it's the smallest one I could find. It's three feet in diameter because it fits here. So I can't use the four and a four point five one because it's too large. Won't yeah. Fit. So everything is designed around the things that I knew that I needed. I specifically designed the wood pieces to be able to fit those needs. Tell me more about your your refrigerator. Okay. I How many watts does it take? In in. Well, and, here's the thing. Okay. Tell really me about it. You. Okay. I have a love-hate relationship with my refrigerator. I did with mine too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I started out with um, with my Jackery. I had the two solar panels that um, you know you have to put out all the time and you have to babysit them. Yeah. That's not fun. No. You know, and you're afraid to leave them out because you know they could get stolen and they're very expensive. So, I didn't do well with my electrical needs with this refrigerator on my very first trip. In fact, I took my Jackery into Starbucks one night and I said, may I charge my Jackery? I'm like out of power totally. Cause I didn't want, I didn't want to manage it. You know, it was a pain in the butt. So. Did they let you? They did. Okay. They did. So I just sat there and I worked on my computer while my Jackery was charging. <laughs> so right now, you know, I'm mostly vegetarian, but I did bring some meat with me initially. Right now, this is off. I'm just storing food in it right now because I don't know if I'm actually going to even keep this. I don't feel that it's a necessity. You know, I'm I and my followers uh, realize that too, because I had a set power, mm -hmm. and it just ran me down all yeah. the time, and. 
then I was storing things in it, but it was in my way all the time. Okay. And when I went back to Ohio, my daughter and son-in-law had mentioned how they would like to have, and I said, would you like mine? Because, and when I, it, when it got out of my minivan, I was actually relieved. Okay. I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah. Um, now so, that I do have that solar, I just purchased that solar panel on the roof. Okay. That could make a difference. For yes. Me. I'm willing yes. to try it again. I don't want to yeah. get rid of it yet. I'm going to yeah. try it again and I'll go get some food. And, you know, yeah. now we just have it, we got it just set up just yeah. now. So we'll give it a try. And the way that it is with that strap, I think I can, I think I can go like short distances, you know, 35 miles an hour or something. I don't want to take a chance and go on the freeway with it like that but yeah we'll see well uh, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, well we'll all keep abreast of of how it works out i mean somebody with a lot more power i know people could say well get get more solar or get more say well you know uh, sometimes d we have to pick our battles don't we, we? Do. and i picked my battle and i said well i've got other needs because if i in the summer i don't want to be in the heat i don't want my solar panel to be parked in the sun yeah so that means i have to babysit again that's true so it's just i picked my battles and i said i would rather not have that and i know how to eat without a refrigerator i'm getting off on and of course now i'm with paul i travel with him and he's got the still got the ice chest and he's thinking about moving over also but to a refrigerator but you know in I, the mean, I may keep it for when my husband and i travel right you know it's always nice to have. All, all I'm saying is, I don't find that it's a necessity. Exactly. Exactly. This and is... every trip is going to be different because sometimes I might be taking a trip and it's going to be in the forest. Well, there's no sun. Exactly. Those trees. I ran across that too on my trip. Yeah. Down out in the desert, it's wonderful because there's sun all the time. Right. So, we'll see, you know. Yeah, that's. That's my van. I love it. I wouldn't change a thing. Well, I have screens. <laughs> I uh, yes. Screens. Now you use these. Yeah. Let's see the the actual screens. Okay. And you have one over on the side too. Where I I'm do. Saying. And they're magnetic. They're magnetic. Now, at the bottom. how are they hooked on to? I yeah. I put it right into that. Um, what do you call the that? rubber? Uh, yeah. Right inside the rubber. Yeah. And let me show you here. She, she's put it. This is the side um, sliding. Now, is it in there permanently, or it can come out easy? Well, I don't know. I could probably take it out. You know. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, I just pulled the I pulled the rubber out. This is actually attached to, to here to okay. the headliner. Right. Yeah. yeah. And then I put the rubber on the top. Yeah, okay. I just fit it around. You know, we, but I helped another girl yesterday, another uh, woman. I She brought some screens and she said, oh, I saw your video on your screens. Can you help me? So I, she got a little bit different screens. And what we discovered with her van is that she wanted to leave the bottom open more so she could have more space to come in and out. Because it's a little close. Yeah. You know? Right. I think it's cozy, but <laughs> she want, just wanted a little bit more space. Okay. But Yeah. You know, everybody has their own style. Now, is there anything in the front seat or the passenger that, that you use or well, anything interesting? Sure. Well, I do have this little Jackery. Oh, okay. I actually had given it to my grandson, but he wasn't going to use it for the next couple months. So I said, okay, I'll just go ahead and take it because I'm just charging my phone and stuff okay. on here. It's yeah. just a little extra one. Okay. I keep my clothes here. Laundry. And the yeah, laundry. And over here, I just have my trash because sometimes you can't, there's nowhere to dump it. You have to wait till they, they open up the facilities. Right. So I have to wait until uh, Sunday. Right. <laughs> Tomorrow and I can dump this out. Yeah. Okay. Very and nice. And if I, you know, it's just like extra water. And I just fill these up at Walmart. Oh, yeah. 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 So, yeah I usually carry five extra containers. Mm -hmm. That's my five gallon. Got and you got the Iotes. I love my Iotes. Uh -huh. The, the phone Oh, order. Yeah. yeah. I have, oh, I have a uh, Lucy light over there that's charging okay. me. This blanket is the one that I usually put for my feet. Okay. And then I just put it down here okay. during the day. Yeah, that's pretty simple. Really simple. Very nice. 
Anything else we should look at? Oh my gosh, I don't know, Lee. What do you think? You see anything? I that think looks that we have we have got it. Yeah. I can see I have where a the ukulele. I'm just oh, learning to play. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of fun. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Very nice. Thank you so much, Elaine, for this tour, inviting us into your world here. It was here. really fun having you in here. I really enjoyed it. It so was much. fun. Yeah. So how can everybody get a hold of you and get okay. in contact with you? I have a YouTube channel. It's Travel Grandma. Real simple. And you can get in touch with me there. And I'd love for you to give this video a thumbs up like and subscribe to my channel as you do to Lee's. And thank you so much for watching everybody. See you on the road. Bye.